Welcome to a course on psychiatric epigenetics. My name is Elizabeth Binder. I'm a member of the ECMP executive board. The prefix epic in Greek means above, beyond, or in addition to. Epigenetics thus refers to mechanisms that are beyond genetics. That is, they influence the function of the genome without changing the DNA sequence. Epigenetic mechanisms determine how accessible the DNA is for regulators of gene transcription. If we take the analogy that the genome is a book, genetics can influence gene function by changing the letters of specific words or deleting or duplicating words or sentences. Epigenetics influences gene function by changing the font size. It makes words or sentences more or less easy to read. The DNA strand in each single cell is about two meters long and needs to be condensed to fit in the nucleus. A central entity for this condensation is the nucleosome, consisting of 146 bases of DNA wrapped around eight histone proteins. However, it is also important to keep those regions of the DNA accessible that are relevant for gene transcription. Epigenetic mechanisms determine how accessible or condensed a stretch of DNA is. These mechanisms include specific chemical modifications at the histone proteins, as well as chemical modifications directly on the DNA strand, the most common being the addition of a methyl group to the base cytosine. Finally, epigenetic mechanisms often also subsume non-coding RNAs. These short RNA molecules interfere with protein translation. As mentioned before, epigenetic mechanisms regulate the accessibility of DNA. There are epigenetic marks that are associated with condensed chromatin, the so-called heterochromatin, where there is little to no active gene transcription. Here, high levels of methylated cytosines are observed, as well as specific modifications of histone proteins mainly methylation. Open chromatin, on the other hand, allows active gene transcription and is associated with low levels of cytosine methylation and histone acetylation. As epigenetics regulate gene transcription, it takes on a very important role for cell function. Initially, epigenetic mechanisms have been recognized for the role in X chromosome inactivation that is, the inactivation of the second X chromosome in females, as well as imprinting mechanisms that, for specific gene regions, determine if either the paternal or the maternal copy of a gene is expressed. But epigenetics has more general functions in allowing cell-type specific gene regulation. Each cell has the same DNA sequence, but needs to fulfill very different functions. And this is regulated by epigenetic mechanisms that are essential for cell type differentiation. Epigenetic mechanisms are often affected in cancer cells that have de-differentiated. Given the fact that the brain has a very high number of different specialized cell types, it is not surprising that defects in epigenetics often impact neurodevelopment. In fact, mutations in genes that are critical for epigenetic mechanisms have been associated with neurodevelopmental disorders. The most famous being Rett syndrome, a neurodevelopmental disorder mainly affecting girls that is caused by mutations in the MACP2 gene that has different epigenetic roles, including to stabilize methylated stretches of DNA. Epigenetics is not only important for determining cell differentiation and developmental trajectories, it is also a mechanism that allows environmental cues to leave a memory in the DNA. In seminal studies, the group of Michael Meany has shown that differences in early environment can have lasting effects on endocrine regulation and behavior, and that this is mediated by lasting epigenetic changes. In this example, licking and grooming of red pups by their mothers changes the epigenetic state of the glucocorticoid receptor, central for stress regulation. 
Such mechanisms have been proposed to mediate the increased risk for psychiatric disorders following exposure to early adversity. In recent years, animal studies have suggested that not only an individual's own experience, but maybe also experiences of past generations can leave epigenetic memories. While there is some evidence for this in animal studies, it still remains controversial in humans. Epigenetic changes may play a role in many psychiatric disorders. Genome-wide association studies show converging evidence that genes important for histone function are affected in schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and depression. Studies investigating epigenetic changes both in postmortem brain and peripheral tissues have repeatedly shown differences between patients with psychiatric disorders and healthy controls. An important role of epigenetics in psychiatric disorders is not surprising, given its critical role in neurodevelopment, but also synaptic plasticity and learning and memory. Given the potentially prominent role of epigenetic mechanisms in psychiatric disorders and the fact that epigenetic changes are dynamic, several researchers have explored the potential of drugs that interfere with epigenetic enzymes in psychiatry, with some promising effects in animal models. These drugs include histone deacetylase inhibitors and, in fact, a commonly used psychiatric drug, valproic acid, also functions as histone deacetylase inhibitor. Another histone deacetylase inhibitor, SAHA, is being tested in humans for its effect in dementia. While promising, drugs targeting epigenetic mechanisms still have many problems, including that they only allow changes in one direction, while epigenetic changes observed in psychiatric disorders do not have a certain direction and these drugs are not specific to certain genetic loci. Again, in psychiatric disorders, there are no global epigenetic changes, but changes are specific to certain genes or pathways. So overall, epigenetic mechanisms are likely to play a key role in psychiatric disorders, including in mediating environmental risk factors. However, more research is needed to use epigenetic changes as diagnostic tools or biomarkers or as drug targets. Thank you very much.